Hi, I want to talk about adding within 10 and then subtracting within 10. And I want to do a couple of things. First of all, use the fingers if you're in kinder. If you're in second, don't use your fingers. <laughs> but you start by doing like, you know, five plus two and five plus three and, right? Because you want kids to understand five is a benchmark that they don't have to count that. So do a, a lot of things with five plus four, five plus five. I mean, you're also going to do things like three plus three and three plus four and so forth. Um, so you're going to do some finger work. You're also going to do cubes. Get a dice that you can put the facts on. So you can put facts just within 10 and then have kids build the facts. So five and two make 10, right? Or three and two make five, right? Then I'm gonna pull out my number line and go three and two more make five. Five and three more make eight, right? So all of that kind of work, adding within 10. And so you're also gonna use just, I use just a one string uh, wreck and wreck. And so I can do things like five and three make 10 or, you know, two and three make five, um, five and four make nine, right? So I, I would definitely use that. I would also act it out on the story mat, five and one make six or five and two make seven. So notice what I did. I did fingers, I did the wreck and wreck, I did the number line. I did the 10 frame. Here's another version of that 10 frame, which is the 10 frame bus. These number lines where you say, well, what is three plus three? And then the fish moves one, two, three. And what is seven plus two? One, two, right? Remember that the research says when kids move on the number line, they internalize that. So notice what I've used. I've used all these different representations and we're just working on adding with intent. And notice a lot of it is really physical movement. And then later on, I would have kids drawing it, right? And um, things like that. Then you're gonna teach kids how to subtract within 10. And it's the same thing. There were seven frogs and two left, right? There were six frogs and five left. And then using the number line, there were six frogs and two left. There were seven frogs and three left. Right, so, and then also doing it. This The one thing I love about this particular number line is that the fish turns around and so he can move back. So he goes seven minus two, right? Eight minus four, etc. So he swims forward and he swims back. So that's fun. But it also gets students, you know, to work on subtracting. And the same thing with here. Say I had nine and I took away four. How many are left? I had eight and I took away three. How many are left? Right. So using again, you know, I had eight and I took away three. Had nine and I took away five. Using the fingers and then using, you know, a different number line, this number line, and then using the story mat and then using the number line with the fish that moves and then using the 10 frame with the cubes. What I want you to notice is there's lots of different encounters with adding and subtracting within 10. So, so far we have looked at adding and subtracting one, adding and subtracting zero, adding and subtracting within five, and then also making five, adding and subtracting within 10. 